Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to remove this module. So I'm just gonna take a, a plastic tool like this. I'm gonna slide it up in there and I'm gonna pull down and then I'm gonna get my finger in here and just pull straight down, both sides. Okay, and then the whole thing will just pull out and it's hanging on by this tool right here. I'm actually gonna leave that in place, I'm fine with it. And then you come up under here and you've got a Torx T20 size and that's how you'll remove your mirror and with that Torx and then you can slide the old one off and slide the new one on and tighten it back up. Okay, I'm gonna just show you quickly how to remove this from the liner. So get up there, put, get your finger up there and you're just gonna pull straight down. And there's a few little clips. And then you've got this little wire connector right there that you disconnect and that's it. So now here on this Ford harness connector for the overhead lighting, Basically what I did is I just kind of slid this sticky stuff up, this sticky sleeve, slid it up, gave myself cover, and now I'm going to put on T-taps, and I'll, I'll do that and show you what it looks like. Okay, so let's test this with the, with the ground here. So put that in there, and okay, I got 12 volts. Then I'm going to go into the other tap, and I've got nothing but... If I turn the key on, here we go, turn the key on, I should get 12 volts on the second tap. So let's get to that second tap here, right there, and we've got voltage. Okay, and then on this continuous harness, let me just show you. So the far left, that's ground. This is where the middle is where you're going to put the continuous power. And then the white stripe is where you will put the intermittent power. Power that comes on with the ignition. Okay, so my T-taps and wiring's all in there. Uh, I've got this connected back up, so I'm just going to put this back up. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount the black cover that goes over the vision module. So with this off, you can see I've got my wire run back in here. And I'm going to try to give you a view looking up. I basically just tucked all my wires and my T-taps right up in there. And so they're just up behind this module. I did reconnect it as well. And then you just put your plate back on here. Okay, so I went to put this on and it was kind of pinching my wire right there at the top. So I'm actually gonna take my drill bit and I'm gonna drill, I'm just gonna drill a little chunk out of it. So I'm gonna kind of lay it up sideways like this. So now I've just got a little teeny groove right there for my wire to come through. Uh, you can see I kind of scratched the plate on this earlier. I pulled the mirror off um, before removing this cover. I should have removed the cover first, but uh, yes. So that way I'm not pinching my wire. Okay, now you can see I got my cover back in place. And there's just a teeny little groove there where my wire fits really nicely. Right in that little teeny tiny groove. Okay, now we're on. Vehicle's running. I've got my compass. If I kill it, go off. Go ahead and open the door, close the door. Wait for all my stuff to turn off here. Wait for that compass to shut off. Okay, it's off, there's the compass is off, but you can see that my home link will still be active. So I'll do that, hit the other one, 
get my garage doors and I just used the programming instructions that came with this and it worked great. Some openers are a little easier than others. I have the Genies, so I can't just program it off the remote. I do have to go up and press the learn button. Um, but yeah, works great. Now, if you didn't have the Copilot 360 with the big black vision module up there, then what you'd have to do is come in here and I'll just pull this straight out. Fuse box come in here and right here on this um, fuse that location right there that would be for your dimming mirror um, that is the fuse location that goes up to the uh, dimming mirror slash the vision module um, so it's that empty position right there and you would need something like this where it provides your original fuse and then creates a whole new circuit and has another fuse going to that circuit and then you would have to fish and run wire up your A-pillar and go that route and then come up and then string it over across the face of your headliner. Um, glad I didn't have to do that, but that's what you would, that's what you would do um, to have the key power and then you would still want to get and tap up into that light and grab the uh, steady 12 volt and your ground.